Where the heck is the suit store? We've been walking for 45 minutes now. Yeah, Jack, I thought you said this is a shortcut. Fantastic. Was it a shortcut or not? <laughs> okay. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Well, well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. You guys need your mommies? They brought in a female for a reason. Sports crew is Sports. the best. Yeah. Thing. Keep a yeah. tight perimeter. Yeah. We're gonna hurt you. You guys ain't nothing. You, you got nothing you on us. Nothing. <laughs> nothing on us. Yeah, nothing. I found enough of you sports crew in your puns. Let's dance. <laughs> you wanna dance? Well I wanna polk ya. <laughs> Jack, what are you doing over there? Come on, get over here. Come on, come on. Get over here, Jack. Come on. Come on, losers. Spanish speaking CCTV here. Do not stop story. The quad runs red with Ryan's blood. <laughs> okay, now before we do this, we gotta lay down a couple ground rules. No touching of the hair or face. Of course. And that's it. Let's do this. Jack, where'd you get the bubble wrap? I don't know. Begin! Hey! You stay classy. Good morning, Don. So welcome back to the final episode of this year's CCTV. I'm Aiden McKay. And I'm Ryan Green. Well, we've been having a great week so far. Before we get to the rest of today's news, let's catch up with Clayton and Taz for news on senior grad night. Oh! Hey, seniors. Didn't see you there. Just wanted to give you a quick reminder about important vet coming up. On Saturday, May 30th, we have our very own grad night. If you wish to attend, which I know you want to, go online to cathedralcatholic.org where you can pay the full price of $115 and if you want, you can participate in mass at 8.30 p.m. or just check in later at 10 p.m. Thank you. And let's send it back to the newsroom. Hope to see you there, seniors. Thanks, Clayton and Taz. Seniors, your first graduation practice will be taking place this upcoming Monday during Red 3. Please check on the school website for more information about your upcoming graduation. Also, seniors, your Knott's Berry farm trip is taking place tomorrow, so please note that under no circumstances are you allowed to drive yourself to or from CCHS the day of the trip. As the last days of school are closing in, there will be a great update today for all students. Please check on your areas to see your progress and note that finals will officially be starting next Friday. For the full list and order of final exams this year, please check the school calendar. Now let's start off to Emily for CCTV Lite. Hey Dons, welcome back to CCTV Lite for the last time. I'm Emily Moynihan. And I'm Paige Haley. And we'd just like to take the time to thank you guys for an awesome year here at CCTV Lite. You guys showed us a lot of support and for that we'd like to thank you. And definitely our favorite part of CCTV Light this year was going the, to the Tucson Academy and helping out all the kids there and just seeing their living conditions and learning from that experience. And we had a great time talking to the campus men classes including liturgy retreat, school and service and learning about what they're doing throughout the year and getting the information out to the student body and having them enlighten us on all the activities in their classes. And we also like to give a huge thank you to all the campus ministry teachers, Mr. Obell, Mrs. BSG, Ms. P, and Mr. Dunn for all their help with us this year. And we'd like to thank especially Mr. Dunn and Ms. P for their service in campus ministry. And we welcome Mr. Hurt and Mr. Grammy to the campus ministry family next year. And Mr. Dunn, thank you for helping us every single week with every single story we've done. We love we you! Love you. <laughs> Anyways, big shout out to everyone who helped us make CCTV Light possible. We had a great time. Uh, hopefully next year, the next CCTV Light crew will be better than ever. You got some big shoes to fill. <laughs> Anyways, um, back to Ryan and Aiden in the ink room for the last time. We, we love, love you guys. guys. Thanks, Emily. Students, you are invited to help out your fellow Dons by donating AP prep books to NHS for our new tutoring center next school year. Bring any and all resources to Mr. Caro's room at CC Hall 202. Your books will be arriving soon and distributed next week. All students should return uniforms, borrowed items, and take off any outstanding debts in order to receive your book. Blue Roses Girls is offering a paid summer employment opportunity working with girls who have special needs. Be sure to check out the Christian Service page on the school's website for more information. Now let's catch up with Lucas and Mallory for a special feature on some of our teachers and staff members. His jokes are only funny because no one laughs. <laughs> I look forward to CCTV every week. The creativity and humor you guys bring is awesome.
Keep up the good work, Mr. A. Oh, Mr. Hare. Why do we have a history book when Mr. Kilroy has experienced the majority of the historical events he teaches? I'm so confused. I bet you Miss Kirby can't name more than five of her students. Coach Lee yells so loud during P.E. that I can hear her all the way from Cabrini. Cabrini. Hashtag human megaphone. Out of the pool! Why won't he ever fix his stupid tie? It's just really not that cool. <laughs> Mr. Silva talks so fast, I need to lose five cups of coffee before I can talk to him and try and keep up. That's ridiculous. I don't talk that fast. I can't believe people think I talk that fast. I'm done. I don't think I have ever been in the counseling office when Mrs. Bascom was not in a meeting. Sad face. Mrs. BSG cares about planning masses more than her own children. Children? I have children? If I had to choose taking a trip to Kansas over doing one of Miss Paget's iPad projects, I'd choose Kansas. You've obviously never been to Kansas. I never thought I could hate Rush until I had Mr. Rickling as a teacher. CCTV used to be funny. Thanks, Mrs. Chupacabra. Really? That's the best? Not Rubacaca something? Lucas Xavier is the least funny and least attractive person on CCTV. I'm, I'm not even a teacher. Who wrote this? I wouldn't be surprised if Miss Borman's baby's first words were so like, um. So wait, like, do I do that a lot? I'm pretty sure Miss Swift tucks each of her instruments in at night. Hashtag relationship goals. Miss Tedra lives in her classroom. The other day she even told me she got lost walking on campus. I'm pretty sure the movie Her was based off Mr. Wallace and his obsession with robots. I thought these were supposed to be me. What's, what's wrong with having a close relationship with the robot that you built? Why won't Miss Wilson ever stop talking about how cute her baby is? Hashtag we get it. Whoa. Look at him! He is cute! We actually have to do work now in NHS. Thanks, Mr. Carl. Yeah, you're welcome. Mr. Dunn looks like a grown-up Lucas Xavier. I'd rather walk a mile on Lego bricks barefoot than sit through another one of Mr. Filippone's lectures. That's messed up. If I had a nickel for every time Coach Geiger smiled, I would probably have one nickel. Mr. Dealey was such a stud in his high school years. Hashtag, what happened? That's mean. I fear Mrs. Conroy more than she fears the bobcat. Too soon. Too soon. Thanks, Lucas and Mallory. Cathedral's new options program has recently won the Down Syndrome Association of San Diego Star Award. Congratulations to all those who made this possible. Also, students, please note that there will be no school on Monday the 25th as it is Memorial Day. ASB is in search of someone to be the new Don's mascot for the 2015-2016 school year. This person should be an energetic, enthusiastic, spirited, motivated, and must be able to attend several school events throughout the year. Applications for the position are available for Ms. Lagermas and tryouts are taking place today. Please see Ms. Lagermas or the Commissioner of Athletics or Spirit if you have any questions. Finally, for students interested in working over the summer, please check in with the Counseling Office for more information on employment opportunities. In the meantime, let's catch up with Michaela for some sports. For one last time, good morning, Dons. Aren't you glad to see me? I truly hope you all had a fantastic week. Since this is our last sports report ever, I thought we'd make it special and take a look back on all of our athletic teams this year. All of you have made Cathedral extremely proud, no matter the outcome this season. So let's start off by highlighting our fall sports teams. I caught up with a few of our fall sports team members, and let's see what they had to say. So I'm here with several of our fall sports representatives, and right here I have the tennis team represented, um, Erica and Elizabeth. So how did you, what was your guys' favorite memory of tennis overall? 
Well, I think in the beginning of the season, we won the first serve tournament, and that was great. We all came together, and it really set the mood for um, the whole season. Yeah, and then later in the season, um, everyone did really well in Western League individuals, and all three of our starting doubles teams made it to CIF individuals, and that was really great. We all ended um, in like the top, so that was just a really great experience as seniors to end that way. Well, that's great. So I'm here with Maddie from the girls volleyball team. So what has it been like playing volleyball for the past four years? Um, it's been really fun. Made a lot of friendships throughout the years. Um, favorite memory, sophomore year, we won state, so that was pretty cool. Awesome. And this is Patrick Collins, and he's representing the boys water polo team. Uh, so Patrick, what has it been like being on the water polo team? Um, it's been great the last four years. Um, definitely love winning CIF three years in a row, so that's been a good time. Hopefully the boys can do it next year. Very cool. Next up, I'm with Raymond and Keenan from the cross country team. So, Keenan, what has cross country been like for you? You know, I've been doing it, you know, for a long time now. Really love it, you know. Really made some good friends. Raymond here. And how about you, Raymond? Well, Kenny used to beat me, but uh, now he doesn't. So. That's true. That's it. What's been your most memorable experience of being on the team? Uh, definitely just all the team bonding experiences we have and. Uh, I'm really going to miss the team, but it, since it's mostly sophomores and like freshmen, I know it's going to, and Keenan, it's going to be a huge success in the year. Wonderful. And last but certainly not least, I'm here with Dan Plum from the football team. So what has been your most memorable experience of playing football overall? Um, definitely winning the CIF championship junior year and then uh, Choice Boston teaching me the Nene. Mm. Great. Love it. Well, thanks, guys. Good luck to you guys in the future. Thanks, Back to you, Michaela. Well, thank you very much, Michaela. Next up, let's move right on over to Justin, who had a special report on our winter sports teams. Thanks, Michaela. I'm here with some senior representatives of the winter sports. Now, Alyssa, what was your favorite memory of being on the soccer team? My favorite memory was probably winning state three times in a row. Great. How do you feel about being on the soccer team? Um, you know, it's a close band of brothers, and we always have each other's back, and brought us success this season. Great. What was your favorite part about the singlets? Um, wearing singlets, it was pretty revealing, but they're really aerodynamic, so they helped us a lot with our wrestling. And uh, all giggles aside, what was your favorite part about wrestling? Um, just the relationship I had with everybody on the team. It was really great. We all ended up being like a family of brothers together, so yeah. Great. How has it been being on the varsity basketball team for four years? Um, these last four years have been amazing. Uh, one of my favorite mem memories was probably going to Arizona with my team because we were able to really get to know each other and create like really cr close relationships with each other. Great. And Kelsey, what are you looking forward to most about college water polo? I'm looking forward to all the sweet new uniforms and the great shape I'll be getting in because it'll be a lot harder. Great. What are you going to miss most about CCHS Athletics? CCHS Athletics has taught me a lot, and I'm going to miss the team dynamic and all the support we get from all everyone that comes to our games and stuff. Great. Well, good luck to all of you in the future. Back to you, Michaela. Thanks, Justin, and thank you for being such an amazing field reporter this whole year. Now let's head to Jamie, who covered our spring sports. I'm here with Don's varsity baseball player, Toru Segura, who's been on the varsity team all four years of his high school career. So tell me, Toru, what is it like to be on the Don's baseball team? Uh, a lot of good memories with my team, practicing every day, playing a lot of games. I really enjoyed that experience. And what do you think is your favorite memory from being on the team? Uh, my favorite memory would be hitting a walk-off Grand Slam against Saints. That was really fun, especially since they're our biggest rivals. I'm here with two members of our Dons Lacrosse team, Cole Wilson and Decker Stiebel. So tell me, Decker, what are you going to miss playing Cathedral Lacrosse? I'm going to miss all the close bonds we had between players. And we're just, we made a lot of good memories, a lot to look back on in the future. And Cole, what's a good memory you had playing lacrosse here? You know, there's a lot of things, Jamie, that I could point out to uh, over the last four years, but beating LCC this year for the first time in school history as far as lacrosse was, I mean, that was big time, so I'd probably have to go with that one. That's great. Wish you guys luck in the future. That was so good, guys. Next.
Thanks, Michaela. I'm here with two members of our Dons varsity swim team, Mary Roberts and Brendan Berry. So tell me, Mary, what is it like to be on Cathedral swim team? Um, it's definitely a lot of fun. Um, there are a lot of team bonding experiences, which is good. It's uh, really competitive, and we have a lot of fun racing and encouraging each other. That's great. And Brendan, I know the swim team here at Cathedral is very competitive, so can you tell me a little bit about those achievements? Well, Jamie, we have two very good swim teams. Our girls have won, like, a thousand straight Western League titles and wins the CIF all the time. And our boys are now back-to-back -back Western League champions. And this past Friday, we won our first ever city conference title. So we're definitely on the up and up. That's great. Now back to you, Michaela. Thank you, Jamie J. You have been such a joy to the sports segment. Well, there you go, Dons. I can't believe this is our last sports report. I don't want to talk about it. Even though CCTV is ending, LSID Sports on Twitter won't be, so you better be sure to check it out on Twitter for more updates on our spring sports teams. And to all of you who suffered from my weekly pun-stoppable exciting puns, to those who believe in the first female sports anchor from the start, this is for you. For the last time, I'm Michaela Day. It's been a great year, Dons. Now make it a good day in life, Cathedral. Let's toss it back to Ryan and Aiden in the anchor room. It's been real, and that's a wrap, Cathedral. Goodbye! Thanks, Michaela, and good luck to all of our sports teams who are still competing. For all of those student athletes, please remember that the athletic awards are being held next Wednesday night. Well, that's all the news we have for this week, Dons. For the last time this year, I'm Aiden McKay. And I'm Ryan Green. Have a great rest of the school year and summer, Dons. Woo! That's a wrap, bud. All you right, know? Man. I'm stoked for summer. You ready? Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> Wait. I'm not afraid of what we have. What, what do you mean? I love you. What? <laughs> yeah, just kidding. <laughs> See you later, man. You, my friend, <laughs> and I'll tell you all about it when I hey. Hey. I got, I got you a bouquet of flowers. Jinx! Oh, soda. We're not gonna have many jokes like that anymore. Why? Because we're leaving. What? D didn't you know? It's the last episode today. What? Mr. Hare didn't tell you? No! Don't. don't Emily, don't. Don't give me that. Emily? Stop. <laughs> don't cry. You're gonna make me cry. I cry. Wait. What do you guys do? I do stuff. Stuff. Like, I run around and <laughs> pretend to tell people what to do. It's fun. But. What do you do, Jack? Um, stuff. <laughs> what kind of stuff? I don't know. Stuff, you know. Just like stuff. Out you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Come along. Hey, Ted. Hey, Clayton. We've had a good year. We have. I'm glad we've worked together. Same here, man. It's been a good run. Catch you on the flip side. Thanks. Ben, we had a great year, even though I'm a senior and you're a sophomore. I think we had a good time. Yeah, I think so too. It's pretty good. You taught me a lot about life and procrastination and getting my homework done. Yeah? Yeah. Put it here. Have fun at San Marcos. Hey, hey Lucas. Yeah, Mo? I got something to say to you. I got something to say to you too. Really? Yeah. Alright, on the count of three. Okay. One. Two. Three. I, I love you. Oh. What? Oh, what? Um, I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Hey, do you want a date? What? Nothing. Uh, bye, Mal. Well, guys, it's been a great year of sports. I love sports. I like them too. Yeah. Wait, do you guys even play sports? <laughs> you know. <What>? Well, <laughs> yeah. yes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll miss you guys very much. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> For the very last time, though, I'm Michaela Day. No! We know who you are. Stop! No! Have a good day, Don. No!
You know, Ryan, looking back at my time at Cathedral, it's those long days in the anchor room that I'm really going to cherish with you, and I'm glad we got to share it together. Yeah, dude, I mean, we had two strong years in this class, and I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm never going to forget it, dude. Yeah, too bad you won't be in it next year, but uh, maybe somewhere down the road we'll be able to meet again, you know? Yeah, dude, I mean, you're going to Boulder, right? I might be going, man, you know? I'll visit you next year, you know? Ooh, uh, yeah, maybe, man. I'll, I'll, I'll catch you later. Bye.